This is the stock market analysis uh, for today, June 24th. We're going to look at the SPY. The last week we said the market's going to rally. We expected a, uh, a relief rally, and the things uh, we look at were lining up for that. And we said that we're going to show you at what point we think they'll fail from again, and we still think the risks remain high uh, in the stock market. If you did not watch the beginning of this show, uh, the full show, go back. Uh, to the beginning of that video, in the, uh, in the opening, uh, we discussed copper, the importance of understanding Dr. Copper, and the ramifications for the stock market and many other markets. So if you're interested in seeing how uh, the uh, aspects of uh, the movement in copper uh, really, really amazingly affects interest rates in other markets, uh, I, I really want you to go back, because many people are watching just this clip. And it's important to go back to the market we show at the beginning and watch that analysis. So uh, please do that. Uh, it's in the opening section. All right, so we're going to look at the SPI weekly. And uh, we're going to look at the ideal map that I have shown you before. Uh, and we're going to look uh, at the uh, actual movement, cyclical patterns, and what the range of, of price is that we believe that this rally that we're seeing will fail. I'm getting up into that right now, but there is still some room. Let's take a look as we switch over from that copper chart that we were just talking about. Uh, and again, go to the beginning of the show and you'll see all the explanation of that uh, to this uh, chart right over here, which is the S&P 500. Now, what I have on here is the actual cyclical patterns as they resolved in here in this giant upside move. This is the big bubble blown up by the government and the Fed pouring all that money in. And over here is essentially the map of how those cycles resolved uh, and uh, where we are on the map right now. We're going to zoom in right into this area right here uh, so you can see uh, both the uh, projections, the map, and uh, where we think uh, this market is going right now and stalling from. So this is the cycle analysis in here. These are the minor cycles right in here. They're running about nine weeks. Uh, this is the dominant cycle right in here running about 27 weeks. That's on average. This is the cycle bracket. This is not the cycle. So many people look at this and say, but your cycles say this, or they say that. Like, this says it's going up, but then the market is going down, so they say it's wrong. Well, it's not wrong. This went up until it failed, and now all of this period right in here is where it's likely to keep moving to the downside, based on all of these patterns. Here is your first minor cycle in here, and you can see what happens is it rallied, hit resistance, and then broke and broke that important low, and that says the highest probability is that this market will move down all the way into the late summer, early fall, September, October, as these two lines are pointing to that range of time where the next trough is due. So this minor cycle rally that you saw right in here, and this you are here used to be over here, um, that uh, hit that sell zone right over there and then moved down. Now, this is only four weeks off of that low, and they, they, they last approximately um, uh, nine weeks. So here we are, four weeks on the bottom, the fifth week here. It's pretty likely that this low here uh, at 362 approximately will get tested or broken out into July. Now, if you looked at our copper analysis, of which there's been a lot of similarities, this uh, points that also points out into July. This is your cell zone right over here. What that's made up of is basically the uh, comes off the daily chart from the minor peak to the minor bottom. And uh, these, this resistance area of the cell zone is 383, which it's now moved above, to about 397 right there. So there still is some upside room in this market. Uh, and then these are only the minor resistances right over here. Were it to be able to do better than that, and there is some probability of that's the case, then you get up here to the, uh, the major 38%, which isn't very far either, uh, and that is about 407. 
Major 50 is 421. I've, this is a, a very unlikely that the rally gets up into those levels. So we're looking for the highest probabilities of failure right here. On top of that, we have this range through late 2022, which we really think is going to be in that area right over there. It's about 398 to uh, 407. That's this area right in here. There's a potential for it to get through there by a little bit. Uh, and also on the downside right over here, that's uh, 350 down to about 340, which is, would be pretty hard to get down to. So we're really looking for that range right now. Uh, we'll, we'll just call it uh, a three, uh, around 400 or a little more, around 350 or a little less in this period right in here where this cycle completes this cycle rally then it moves down again with a target down over here of about 335 potentially 320 uh that i show on some of the other charts with a potential stopping hit here around 352 so uh that's you know it shows that the majority of this big decline in the market's probably over with as uh, there are multiple forces that are fighting each other, a recession, lower earnings, a tighter Fed, and uh, a margin squeeze in companies, and certainly lower earnings, and maybe a, uh, an earnings recession that we're going to see all fighting bargain hunting on the downside and the perception that all the Fed hikes are priced in. So all of that uh, has this, what I think is a range trading that's going to go on in here. Uh, those people that think that the market, you know, they're looking for this to end and then move up and explode up to new highs. I've read some analysts talking about that. I would rate the probability of that about 3%. I think the probability is highest, uh, more than 60%, that it fails uh, in this area of the resistance zone, you know, make it two to one odds and then comes down again. And if it's able to get up into here, getting beyond those resistances is maybe only about 15 percent. So I, I based it based on all of my those those odds are based on all of the studies I've done. Remember cycle analysis for the last 48 years. Uh, and uh, I can tell you that uh, it works more than it doesn't uh, or my analysis, my interpretation of the cyclical patterns are, are, are correct more than they are incorrect. Uh, and the highest probability right now is that this market will try a little bit more on the upside, but then coming out here to July, have one more sell off right in there. And then this rally out in the summer, now, uh, potentially July and August, late July through early September, uh, where the market does look better again, maybe gets up to 407, maybe gets up to 421. Uh, and then turns down again for that last big area. These yellow areas right in here that you see here, here, those are areas where the and there's a nesting going on. In other words, all the cycles are pushing to the downside, and that gives you the biggest declines, as you can see uh, in each of those yellow zones. And right now we're in a period right in here where uh, that yellow zone is not going to come into play until sometime in August. So just, I think, lots of chop in here uh, and potentially some very uh, good trading in the uh, S&P 500. Again, where are you right now? Well, this first cycle right in here uh, broke to a lower low. That says this next cycle will fail as it did. And now you're right in this area right in here, essentially rallying against the downtrend and likely to fail and move down into this July time frame. It would have to gain, uh, get up above the 78%, 78.6% of this decline, which I don't really have in here. It's above 407 for us to begin to question that uh, and uh, whether or not uh, the market is in better shape. But we'll see if that happens. Again, I make that extremely low odds and a pretty good probability that this minor sell zone that you see there is going to stop this rally and then the markets will be moving down again. We are always using some of the evidence. And right in here, you can see where the reversal scout turned negative, that red arrow pointing there, and it remains negative. When it rallies up through a negative condition and hits sell zones, the odds are high it's going to move down again. That's exactly what's going on right over here as it's moving up to a sell zone in a condition of negative momentum, in a condition of negative cycle action, and the highest probability is that it will fail in this zone and move to the downside. 
I hope that was really clear to you and great information. The relief rally is here, but the risks remain high.